defects in solids. In ionic solids, defect. Defect means what? Something is not perfect. Something is missing. Something is not in proper, perfect manner. That is called defects. In ionic solids, we classify them into three categories. Only. Stoichiometric, non-stoichiometric and impurity defect. Stoichiometric, the word itself is saying, ionic solids will have cation and anion. Their ratio is in whole number, means it is called stoichiometry. For example, NaCl, Z&S, Z&O, they are all in whole number ratio. Cation and anion ratio is in whole number. So they are called stoichiometric defect. Non-stoichiometric, they are not in proper whole number ratio. Nickel 0.93, O1. Are they in whole number ratio? Then it is called non stoichiometry Impurity defect. In some solids, we are putting another solid, ionic solid, as an impurity. For example, let us finish this impurity defect one. NaCl crystal ionic. Each Na plus will be surrounded by 6 Cl minus. See this Na plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the front, 3, 6, 1 at the back. Because it is two, two dimensional way I have drawn. So it will be only four I can see to show on the picture. It is one, two, three, four, five here, six one is at the back of the NACL. So each NA plus will be surrounded by six CL minus. Now what will happen? Strantium is coming inside this NACL. Strantium has two plus charge. So in order to maintain the electrical neutrality, what is electrical neutrality? The total positive charge in the crystal has to be equal to the total negative charge. Total negative charge, not the number of ions. So, calcium 2 plus has to come means 2 Na plus has to go out of their place. But in one place, it will occupy. This place will be vacant void only. This void may be moving there and there. This type of defect is called impurity defect. That is different valent metal ions, different metal ions. One occupies the other's place. In order to satisfy the electrical neutrality, two Na plus ions are missing from its point. Like this point, this location is called like this point. In that place, one stanchion is occupying at one of the place of the sodium ion. If it said that I am putting aluminium chloride, what will happen? Aluminium balance is 3 plus. So, 3 Na plus ions have to miss, but in one of the plays, one Al thickness ion picked up. This is called impurity defect. Now, let us come to the stoichiometric defect. Stoichy defect, frontal defect. Stoichy defect is called vacancy defect. Fractal defect is called vacancy plus interstitial void occupying defect. What is the difference? We will see. Vacancy means what? Something is vacant. What is vacant? It is it, this defect will be shown by such ionic solids in which coordination number must be high. Only such ionic solids only will show stark defect. Equal number of cations and anions are missing from their lattice point. Where they are gone, we need not worry about all those things. One Na plus is going means one Cl minus is also missing. Another Na plus is missing means another Cl minus. So total number of cations missing must be equal to the total number of anions missing. Where the size of the cation and the size of the anion will be equal. Then only this type of defect can happen. Scotty defect can happen when size of cation is equal to the size of anion. Let me represent as A and B. So, cation must be equal to the size of the anion. So, what will happen? Number of ions are decreasing means the mass of the unit cell definitely will decrease. So, what will happen? What is density? Mass per volume. Volume remains the same. So, mass is decreasing. So, what happens? Density also decreases. Example, NaCl. Rock salt structure. NaCl is the rock salt structure. NaCl coordination number is 6 to 6. Now let us come to the frontal defect. Frontal defect, here it is not like NaCl. Here only the small size cation. Cation is very small. The small size cation, zinc 2 plus, it is missing from its lattice point. And it occupies, this is called void, unoccupied space. 
in that unoccupied space it is occupying. So it is called interstitial defect as well as latency defect. NaCl cannot show this defect. Why? Because Na plus is large in number. Alkali metals are large in size. They are not uh, number size. Large in size. So they cannot occupy in the interstitial void. That's why NaCl cannot show this frontal defect because Na plus alkali metals are large in size. Here the zinc 2 plus is not missing. It is missing of course. It occupies another space interstitial void. So, the mass of the unit cell remains the same. So, there is no density change. This will be shown by coordination of the low ionic compounds. AGBR is one peculiar example which shows both frontal defect as well as Scottky defect. What is the difference between frontal defect and Scottky defect? It is only latency. Ions are missing where they are not denoted. But here, <coughs> They are missing but occupying the interstitial voids. So density no change, their density decreases. Their coordination will be low, their coordination will be high. Now let us come to the non-stachymetric effect. Non-stachymetry, as I already told you, the whole number ratio will not be there. There are two types of non-stachymetric effect. Metal excess effect, metal deficiency defect. Metal excess, that means metal ion cation is excess. How it can make it as excess? Either by anion is vacant or <coughs> metal ion occupies the interstitial voids. Let us see. Now, I have taken alkali metal halide, NaCl, like in the case of stocking effect. NaCl, I am heating with its own metal vapors. Sodium chloride is heated with its, please focus here. Sodium vapors. Now, sodium vapor gets ionized and become Na plus ion and the electron. Whenever an alkali metal halide, lithium chloride is heated with lithium vapors, potassium chloride is heated with potassium vapors, all alkali metal halides, when they heated with its own vapors, the metal atom, atom gets ionized. Ionized means it is becoming ion and giving electron, one electron, because alkali metals can give one electron. This one electron, Diffuse to the surface, diffuse to the surface and join with the Na plus ion. This Na plus ion combines with the electron becomes Na. So this becomes vacant, it is occupying the space. So this, this electron goes to the surface and occupies the space. Na plus combines with the Cl minus, so electrical neutrality is maintained. Instead of this minus charge, it is occupied by the electron. Anion vacancy is occupied by the electron. Sorry, Na plus is here. It occupies the surface of the place of the electron. Not anion vacancy is occupied by unpaired electron produced during ionization of the metal atom. What is this electron? How is this electron produced? By the ionization of the metal atom. This electron, unpaired electron, occupies the surface instead of anion. So, anion vacancy is occupied by unpaired electron produced by the ionization of the alkali metal atom. Now, electrical neutrality is maintained. This Cl minus from the missing from this place combines with this Na plus and becomes NaCl. So, electrical neutrality is maintained. The electron produced during ionization is occupying the anion's place. Anion's is vacant now. This can happen with any of the alkali metal halide when it is heated with its own vapor. I repeat. Anion vacancy is occupied by anion vacancy. A Cl minus place is vacant. Anion vacancy is occupied by unpaired electron produced during the ionization of the alkali metal atom when it is heated with its own metal halide. This is called metal excess defect. Then, metal ion interstitial void, zinc oxide they are taking. When he heat the zinc oxide becomes zinc 2 plus ion, the anion O2 minus will give the two electron and it will become O2. O2 molecule, half O2 molecule. So what happens, this oxygen's place, anion's place is occupied by this electron 
by this electron, one electron only. Half zinc two plus arm. Yes, half O two. This electron is occupying the anion vacancy, and the zinc two plus also. Apart from this anion vacancy occupied by alpha electron, the zinc two plus occupies the interstitial void. So interstitial defect, interstitial defect is also happening because the small size cation occupies the interstitial void. The anion vacancy is occupied by alpha electron. The zinc oxide, when it is heated, it becomes yellow in color. White zinc oxide. Becomes yellow in color due to metal excess defect produced during metal ion interstitial defect. Next one is metal deficiency defect. It causes because of the variable valency. Variable valency means copper ion plus copper two plus ion, Fe two plus Fe three plus ion, nickel two plus nickel three plus ion. This we are having a crystal lattice of copper two plus ion. Oxide ion, copper two plus oxide ion, copper oxide, tin oxide. In this, if this copper two plus is to be occupied by copper plus means it has to occupy two places. Then only the charge will be balanced. Or if we are having copper cuprous oxide, cupric is coming, then two of the places of cuprous ion will be occupied by cupric ion. Then only the valency, the electrical neutrality will be. Balance. Such a type of defect is called metal deficiency defect. So we have uh, covered all the defects present in ionic solids.